Okay, so there's just a few thoughts about what happens when you hit the starter button and nothing nothing happens. Um, so the first thing uh, to do, uh, I guess, is to check um, that you've got good connections on your battery and maybe where this uh, earth strap goes down onto the engine block down there. Just check that your earth's good. Um, general check of any obvious sort of wires and what have you but main thing is check that your battery's good I think you should have about um, 12 and a half volts or so when you test across the terminals um, uh, yeah and the good earth if that's okay then um, often a, a something that think people think about is the, the solenoid which is under the side panel here, take the side panel off Oops. Um, down here this is the uh, solenoid because what it does, it, it, what it, does it, it runs juice straight from the battery and there's a little uh, electromagnet in there that makes a um, re receives a, um, current here uh, from when you hit the starter button makes a an electromagnetic uh, contact inside there basically shorts these out inside the you know shorts and makes the contact across these two terminals and then this wire goes straight down to the starter motor in here so so uh, often the culprit is this uh, solenoid you can test it sort of easily by just taking it out and um, connecting these uh, wires to a battery terminal and the solenoid will make a very definite click and uh, also it will jump a little bit you know physically or sometimes jump on the table um, so that's a quick way I mean you can get your continuity tester out and uh, test it more thoroughly if you want but that's a simple way to do it um, Another thing that you can do is if you reveal these contacts under here, um, you can just make the circuit across them with uh, an insulated um, screwdriver. Be, I mean, be really careful not to give yourself a shock. So I, I used a screwdriver with a, a properly insulated handle, just shorted across them, and that's fired up the starter motor. So what that did, that told me that the battery was okay and that the starter motor was okay and earthed properly so we could rule out basically from the motor here back up to here the solenoid was okay I mean I checked it the basic way by just putting these on a battery and seeing if it clicked and sort of jumped on the workbench which it did but I also tested it with my multimeter um, and it was okay so the next thing I did was I tested for continuity because these are the wires that go to your starter um, to your, your handlebar switch and so the first thing I did was I tested for continuity from here to the to the handlebar and that was good um, <clears throat> so then I opened up this switch and tested that when I made the contact here we got continuity from the the two parts of the switch and also that the kill switch was still good so that we had no continuity there and continuity when it was in the run position and that was all good so then it dawned on me I should have thought this first really that there were some uh, the operation of that circuit is contingent upon some other switches on the bike uh, most commonly that's neutral so that the bike has to be in in neutral before the engine will turn over that's what it's like on my, my CBF here um, that's to be in that's to be in neutral uh, before you start it and the other commonplace thing on more modern bikes is the kickstand switch so there's sometimes a switch in the kickstand and the bike won't turn over until the kickstand's up but on this bike there's not uh, a side stand switch and there's not uh, a neutral switch um, so at this point I was starting to sort of scratch my head and then suddenly it dawned on me there is a switch in the clutch and all you have to do on the bike is 
pull the clutch in and then it started so that's my confession of being an idiot and not having started the bike for three years I'd forgotten just pull the clutch in Clive but the the point really the learning point is that if you hit the button uh, it's obvious things first and that the circuit is contingent upon some other switches in this case it's this one here but on some you know the models it's uh, a switch down here or on the kickstand so just don't forget those that's all